Hi, it's me again with Corel Raw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me, well, you did the letter eight. How about the letter seven? Well, the seven would be even easier because it's just two outlines. I've already converted to a curve and I made it 24 points. And then I'll take this line and I'll do that. Now, the only bad thing is you don't have any control over some of the items and there's some corners and there's some not corners. So what you could do is to do this and then take one of these pieces. I've already got one up here. I'm gonna select it, shift select, well, and by doing that and breaking apart, I found out there were 43 objects. I stole one of them. So we could shift select that, hold down the shift key, select that. I don't remember when it came out, but objects have passed, been around a little while. And we're gonna say 44. And it's a little bit better around the corners and you could space it out a little bit better. And well, there's no corner ones like in this one, there's a broken line. There's none of that in, in our new one. Now you could, what I always like about this, you can uh, always break it apart. And if we run and rotate this thing 90 degrees, it's already at 88.96. So we can just hit 90 and it'll rotate it. And then you can move it around wherever you want it to on your object. That's one thing I like about the object to path is it's not like the blend where you can't move stuff around. And then you just do it at your discretion. But I like it over this because this corner and then no corner. It's just taking the shortest route out. So that is object to path with the letter seven. And just like up here, I like being able to move these things around. You know, maybe take that one there and, and grab that one and put it, blah, still grabbing the path and then move it up there. Make it a little bit more uniform. You could bring that one down. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.